Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another game of VCC. Here we have um, MYA versus ISU. ISU is coming off of an unfortunate loss on Ascent versus the Straw Hat Pirates. However, this game, they will be taking to bind as they start on that attacker side. So, we'll get into it shortly. As I'm just going to make sure that the teams are ready. So let's check in on our teams. I got Lon here to cast with me today. Lon should be here soon. So, kind of an interesting situation. As Core is currently not able to play, an interesting substitute has been chosen. Instead of a lower ranked player, who would be the appropriate sub for Core, we're going to see Sick come in. And Sick is an Ascendant player, but he'll be playing on a lower resolution and a higher sensitivity. Three times the sensitivity. This has been okayed by ISU, therefore, it is in line with tournament rules that he is allowed to sub as both teams have okayed it. So, we're going to hop into the game here. As we hop into our Prime Gaming Agent Select, just kidding, which should be responsible. Hello, Hello Lamar, you came in just in time. Game's I'm right. watching Fortnite. Game is right about to begin. It looks Wait, like they're letting six sub for core. Both ISU has allowed it, therefore it is acceptable. Um, sick will be playing on a higher sensitivity. That is what three times the sensitivity to be exact, and on 720p. That was the deal. And it's going to be a random agent selection for ISU, a risky proposition. On the other hand, it is going to be that double duelist with Red Sea and Neptune. Very lethal combination. Paired up with that famous Jetstream and Ramsey combination for support, controller and initiator. And we'll have to wait another 30 seconds to see what will be in store for us in this game. As the ISO, ru ISO roulette chooses our team composition. All we can say for sure is that there will be an ISO. Choose your agent. And the Wheel of Fate is about to decide. And what will he find? It's going to be an ISO, an Omen, a Sage, a Gecko, and that Chamber. All in all, could have been way worse for them. They are getting those smokes. They are getting some sort of initiator in Gecko. It's not the best initiator, but it's functional. And they got a Sage, which can be pretty good on this map. So it's not the end of the world for them. What do you think? Wow. This comp is like... Yeah, they're not getting yep. like, any and this, rounds. And this, is, this is sick sensitivity here. <laughs> oh my god. This is wild to watch. Not even using that mouse to move around. <laughs> Looks like we're going to start off with a bit of a more defaulty play from the attack side. It's going to be... Uh... Actually, it looks like more of a B play. On the other hand, Ramsey looking to maybe even put down an aggressive smoke and take that long control. Well, Puka seems like the prize of ISU. Led by Hasselhosh and Speedy. The excellent initiator player, Speedy, coming off of 16 assists. Kristen, going to try and take that first fight. With Blank Shard. And Kristen, continuing the excellent performance of last map, we're going to get two. And that's the site completely defeated. Fortunately, it appears that we do have an audio bug on our hands. It has subsided, and Sick will charge forward. Looking for a kill. We'll get one before Blank Stand trades, and it's just Neptune. Trying to find, but Speedy can't quite find it until now. Great pistol wow, round. Went around. Amazing. Yeah. Do you want me to cast? Lawnmower. I mean, wh what are you here for otherwise? Chilling. Like, are, are you in the game right now? Yeah. 
Okay, good. Just making sure. Sick, gonna slap some aggressive tripwires. Try and hold down that A site with the limited weaponry. As I mean, I think it's a bit of an upset that an ISU went around here. Like, with this comp, it's like... Oh, not actually yeah. kind of ridiculous. Great Hasselhosh opener, and they're already in showers. I mean, it's kind of, it'll be interesting to see Hosh on, like, a different role, because... I've only ever seen him play Sova. Kristen pushing forward and getting the kill. Starting to get that ball rolling with ISO. We're going to try and take the fight to Red Sea. Oh my god. ISO is not enough to stop. Shit. That's Shorty. In the open TP. Why is he taking the Spectre at 1 HP? Interesting. Not After a team all, player. Red Sea. Definitely not a team player. More of Fragger type. Last time I think he got 40 kills. Not the last time. But like, I think he did it once. He did do it. I think it was like on this map. I mean, sadly, Hack got 44 kills and he wasn't playing Duelist, so. Oh, the infamous Hack game. Alright. Now, it's gonna be this bonus round, which is a little bit more intimidating than usual because Hasselhosh does have his Pocket Guardian. So effectively, they have four, you know, pretty good guns against a full rifle buy. In from NYA, Jetstream, looking to find some information early, but Redzi is really the aggressor here. But taken down. Wow. Aggression does not work out. Neptune as well gets stopped. His tracks. I mean, like against all odds, they're just like. Owning them, like one yeah. of their teammates AFK, like I don't know what they're like. They don't need it, clearly. Teammate is bound back from being AFK. He does not have a gun. However, they can re probably recover the gun that Red Sea had. Spam, well, doesn't find anything. Three players here in the and the Cypher. Sick on the site, trying to hold down. Ramsey Lex one sick with an aggressive and push does not pay off. Ramsey finds a response, but it's not enough. Neptune has to push in. And that omen is in such an aggressive position. There's no oh perfect boombot and a running shot from Neptune. Makes this doable, but now it's gonna be way more diff way more difficult. Asselhosh can't quite find the shot yet. However, Crossfire is there. Cyclone with an excellent start to the game. Six kills in three rounds. Really putting up that controller impact. I mean, that kill was just unfortunate. He killed Red's full... Well, he was full blind, just... Red I don't, I don't think that... Right I don't think that Cyclone was full blind. Um, Cyclone was no, the player... He was. Cyclone was the player in the back of Hookah. He just caught the edge of that flash, I think. No, he was like here. Well, I can't ping. But he was like up. Like, I'm in. Uh, no, no. That was the other player maybe. that was up. Oh. That was Speedy. I don't know, man. Ramsey gonna try and hold back the push. Hookah flash doesn't quite find info. And the shot is excellent. Ooh, the and Not giving the Gecko the bomb. Kind of interesting. So he got a little like little fella there. Unknown, but the Ooh, what? great adjustment. Good shot. And Hookah now going to be taken, and there's nobody on that B site. There's Cypher shots. I mean, you know, it was a bad play, but good outcome. So does that make it a good play? I don't know. Like... Let's see, teleports in, but doesn't quite have the support. Focusing. I think they're aware that he crossed the cub B. Only reds on site right now. Omen blind will come through, but Hosh can't Hosh collect. Full blinded. Can't see. trade out Cyclone. Looking for more. And the there's... reinforcements coming in now. Players are low. And Deagles like so powerful, and Put... Sook somehow gets a kill. Push is halted, but Red Sea's gonna keep going seconds. forward now. 
Looking for that gun. God. Still pushing. Kristen looking. Trying. And that's Red Sea. With three. And an eco. And their first win here. Off of some excellent Quan Deeks. And oh once God, again, this glitch. it's the ISO bug. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm out. Goodbye. Oh, it's, it's stopped. Fun. Thank goodness. Doing everything we can to stop it. It's, it still rears its ugly head. Blank Shard's been really good at this game at, at shutting down Neptune, and I, th I think that could be really good for them. If they could just keep peeling off that A player, getting Shower's control. Red Z, once again, gonna go for the aggression. Lining up that flash. I showers, though, for the defenders. If... Ramsey is watching it. Yeah, they're just gonna walk all the way up, though. Get Kristen, that playing anti-flash. Red Z, knife out! Ooh. Unaware. It's just Jetstream. Smoked off now. Gonna push through the smoke. Possibly going to try and find one kill. Does and falls back, but excellent smoke shot from Cyclone. We'll find the revenge. Wait, but look at there's two players on A. They're gonna TP over, but <gasps> Oh no, it's a judge. <laughs> they do find a kill though, which this... gives Neptune some time to approach. This could be devastating. Draws attention. Gets one, gets two. Pushes through. Oh my goodness. It all falls apart. Just one player left. Unfortunate. Oh, the spam connects! He's gonna have to go for the reload though. And take down the Can't no, oh. not quite. And that will be the sick defuse. Just in time. Four seconds left. What a round. What a round. The excitement should continue to come as both teams have a stable economy and ultimates are now on the board for many of the players. Once again, taking this taking this position with the cipher on B, another set set of trips, some different, some the same. Really helping Redzi hold down the site. However, it is going to be A that's more of a point of focus in this round. Kristen edging up has that ultimate can try and draw a fight potentially against Neptune and give them some U-Haul control. Excellent grenade. Finds information, forces players back. Smoke does come out to try and allow the showers players to creep out, but Cyclone spotted. That ult doesn't find much. No, but Neptune's in a good position. For the defenders, a bit of a whiff from Tosh. Neptune low HP though. Surely his sky heals him. Maybe. No. Team charges in. Go. Excellent brimstone out from Ramsey. But the plant does go down. Neptune pressing in, and once again, we have the ISO bug. I really do apologize for this, everyone. That's the first. Only needs two more. Oh, can't collect the second onto Neptune. And what's notable is that a lot of the ults are still in play. Both teams. Only that Brim ult used. And Neptune really starting to have a lot of impact in this map. You know, things are looking pretty good. Pretty good mention. <laughs> and it's going to be a B long take. It should be spotted by Jetstream's bird. Play, let's play. Oh, Red Sea lining up the flash once again. Is Speedy blinded? No, but doesn't choose to take the fight. Yeah. Teleport to A. Is it the right move? Maybe not. Six still in a really good position to hold this site.
However, oh no, the Gecko ultimate should find sick. But it, it doesn't. And the trap wire gets a kill. Oh, Kristen wins the fight. Damage. Yes, it does a small amount of damage, but that, can be, that was enough. Kristen trying to make a play. Gets the spike, but does not find the kill. Hasselhosh, last alive. Isobug, again, two kills with the Operator. Ramsey, really difficult to dislodge from that under position. Or oh, that's Jetstream, sorry. Wulhosh, consider this. No, jumping. Caught by Jetstream. I really do apologize for this Isobug. It seems to be quite frequent. I'm back. I'm gonna cast. Lon, what do you think about um, what do you think about potentially putting a hold on ISO in the tournament until this bug's resolved? Do you think that's worthwhile? No. Who cares? That's true, it is ISO. Redzy, looking for the Huko aggression again. Kristen. Not playing any flash, and Speedy isn't able to trade. Deathstream's dog looking towards Hasselhosh. But the res is in, is there, and Rezzy again looking Whoa, to push. Does the same play again. And it pays off. Almost finds three. Blank shard though does trade, and once again we are iso bugged. This is so consistent. It happens every round, and they teleport out. Ramsey is here to receive in a really good position. Hasselhosh will not clear it. Playing the trigger discipline is Ramsey finds two. Just Kristen left on the lurk. Does find a kill, will refresh that shield. But it's too many players. Nobody's watching showers though. Until sick pivots in. Or the timing is not seized. Gun here. Satchel out. Now they will consider showers. I'm back. I think Um he will not win this. Because Brilliant commentary is always lawnmower. Is it very like not high health points? Lawnmower, have you gotten any trivia questions? No. Since our last stream, no. Hey, let me let me get you. Let me give you one. Triple swing, and Neptune will close. Okay, what is a piff thing? What? A piff thing. Pifting, is that a word in another language? That's two words. No, it's in English. Repeat it. Pifting. Pifting. Yeah. No idea. It's our word for the day, I guess. No, it's like UK slang. I think it's like... But we were doing U like European history. No, I think it's like someone like... Oh. Redzi trying to just find the kill onto two of them, but it's probably inadvisable. Hasselhosh will find that play. And they're pro speedy. Kristen, probably not going to get too aggressive here. The rocket should be... Oh, that rocket misses a little bit. The push now can start to come in from all angles. We've got two players in heaven. Neptune taken down by Kristen. Gonna get that ball rolling. Speedy. Nice trade. Jetstream from behind and Sick finds so many. This is winnable now. They should know the position. But oh, Speedy spotted. They're gonna teleport away. Just gonna try and find the timing. Shutting in, but they're gonna teleport back. They're teleporting back, but Jetstream reads this. Jetstream will be in position. Does not see it. This is winnable. This is so winnable now. Knows where Speedy is. Has to give a little bit of respect. Playing with that very limited time. Spike is down. Interesting play from Jetstream to not play to hold the bomb, but now he's gonna walk up and should spot Speedy. Needs to be planted. He'll get it down, but Jetstream is already over here. There's no way he expects this. 
and he doesn't. Jump spot is not good. Jet stream and sick combined for that really impressive comeback. Six rounds now for the defense. The ISO is it's working, but it's not quite getting enough kills. I feel. I, I think that like nine and nine is good. It's you know that's a kill every round, but for ISO you just, you just need a little bit more impact. I mean, it's a bad character. What do you want him to do? Not play ISO. Well, they relented ISO, so. Yeah. Unfortunate. That could be their mistake. As we've seen. No, I think a, it was a good call. There's been many bizarre choices on Vine in terms of team comp this season, from 5 Sentinel to ISO Roulette. Jetstream looking to just get a little bit of information. Hasselhosh is not spotted. Hasselhosh could walk up a little bit faster than anticipated. Is spotted, however. Jetstream holding on to this. Speedy and Red Z soon fight each other. Stopped for now. Good utility from Speedy, but Red Z will take the kill and find the spike. Man, I think it's a bit of a bad call to have the spike go alone. It, it is the, questionable. The territory of the Yoru. We'll teleport out of there. It's going to be a try attempted spike retrieval job from Cyclone. Red Z going to Jiggle Peak. Not spotting the player. Ramsey rotating in to try and deny this push onto site. And can't quite find the timing. Neptune thinks that the flank is good, but there's somebody behind. Last player standing. Both players should know of each other now. Wow, Nep just barely. Neptune unnoted. Can't find the oh, It's close. What? Sage decides to go back, but is Omen going for a reflank here? It appears so. I mean, I think it's a good play, but does he have enough time? He for sure does. Think about all the yeah. angles that Neptune has to clear. Why? This, now, why is he smoking this? To sell the reflank even more. And it works perfectly. Know, like... Cyclone, more and more impact. 12 kills. I mean, I guess he could have been like back. Because, like, if you think, like, if he smoked that, like, where would he be? Like, if he was playing normally? Like, um, back sight? I guess, I don't know. You might expect back Holding. sight, you might expect elbow. Um, you could even expect some, like, weird position in sight, maybe even long. No, I guess it was good. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> this can be, once again, that Hookah B lean. Jetstream. Flash for information. Blinded. Spots the players. Will they budge? Neptune presses forward a little bit into Hosh, who appears to be running mostly with that. What is this gun? Is it the trademark? No. Oh, it's not enough. That's for sure. Dizzy stopped in his tracks, and the flash from Redzi does blind himself, but he's able to find the kill. And another. Blink Shard going to have to find a response. But Cyclone instead. Can they stop Redzi? Flash is perfect again. Players are jumping, but Cyclone with three. And Neptune coming in for this flank. Will they expect it again? I mean, he's done it so much. Oh, they and get the res up. Now a 3v2. Brimolt, though. Brimolt, so good. Gets them two. There's one left now. now group up. It's Blank Shard. It's not expect the long player, that's for sure. 30 seconds left. <gasps> no, the long player teleports! The read is wrong! The, the plan is... Just gets him a free sight there. plan is free. And the long player is revealed. Rezzy has pushed out now. Blank Shard's... What is Blank Shard's CT, game? But there's no one there. Bomb is being stuck. He's going... Oh, Bomb is not. He gets off. No one's players. Hooker, but it's unfortunate. Peak is pretty good from Neptune. Last round That's seven game. rounds now. Ugh.
All right. Once again, we're going to see a B play. Focus of this round. And it's going to be the janky trip from Sick that can really punish Shuko walkouts in a really interesting way. As we'll see here. Yeah. Once again, just a reminder, Sick is playing on very high sensitivity. So do not expect a standard performance out of Sick. Red Z, again with a good flash, but not able to collect. Just some damage. Flashes out again and crosses. Teleports out now. Jetstream is pushed up in this position, but it's Ramsey to get the first kill on Jetstream to find one and two and one and a third. Made. Excellent shots from Jetstream. Three straight headshots. Okay. And that's the round. The Pretty much over. Everyone's going to teleport in. Not much speedy can do. Except just die. Flawless. Neptune from the back. We shouldn't wish harm. Yo, can we show? We show. What? Can we chill? Repeat that. Can we chill? Are you speaking British slang again? Can we chill? Oh, can we chill? What do you mean by that? Aslosh pointing out that they are a defensive team, which... I don't know if that's true with this composition. They do have the two Sentinels, but they're somewhat lacking in terms of smokes, only having two smokes at once from the Omen. And really lacking information. It's going to be an early focus towards A. Neptune going to run in at low HP, and Hasselhosh will spot before falling back. Robert, Red Sea, unexpected. Players everywhere. It's chaos. And Renzi's thriving. Speedy can't find anything. And it's just one left now with Cyclone. Looking for an exit kill. Spotted. <laughs> That's two more! <laughs> but Jetstream will trade. Looks like Hookah will be the focal point of another round. Kristen <laughs> with the shotgun. Cyclone with another. And Ramsey is going to start pressing up with Neptune. Smoke should deny push through. But they're going to go for it anyways, and they somehow overwhelm the shotguns. They take the sight, but wait a minute. They never cleared the shorty. Shorty can upgrade to a Bucky. Probably collects a couple kills. But waits too long and can't find anything. It's a Red Z triple. Dashing it to spawn. And Kristen could be kicking themselves over that. Not what you want to see. Game is now starting to slip away. ISU feeling dejected. This could be a second loss in one day. Omen teleport during the pre-round. Going to allow Cyclone to take a, an angle with height. Who's next? Trying to fight onto Neptune. They do peek before the dog, but not quite found yet. And Red Z's early aggression will find one with the shorty. For the stop, but Neptune taken down by Cyclone and the Guardian. And they're going to pivot in another player. They're going to hear the full teleport, and there's nobody on that B site other than Hosh, who's just rotated off and can come in for a pretty fast flank. However, with the players teleporting in, that flank is now no longer a possibility. Deathstream should be considering long. Stinger trying to push out. And they're going to retreat two players towards long, but that's where Hosh is, but the shots don't connect. Until they do, but that's only one. And now, they're all coming from this one point of entry. Can they take out Jetstream? They can. It's just Ramsey. 
tucked into the site position. Possibly going to be cleared. Defuse is coming through already. We'll take the defuse off and bind one. Does have a chance for a reload now. And a chance for the win. It's a 1v1. Classics are out for both players. Not much time left. SMG will be enough for Ramsey to take the clutch in a 1 versus 3. In-game leader for NYA. Really putting in the effort when they need it most. Since when are they the in-game leader? Ramsey? I thought Ramsey was the in-game leader. No, why? Might have misremembered. What is it usually? I don't know. Jet stream, maybe. No one. Early aggression by Kristen. Shoots the decoy, and Redzi will teleport off of that and find the kill. The rest of the team will accelerate with Neptune pushing in towards that U call. And Brimalt forces all the players off. Neptune, really aggressive, but Sick will find the kill. Players are rotating in. Speedy taken down by Redzi. Blank shard. Just going to be holding with that shotgun. It will be good for one. Smoke denies Cyclone. Chance to find some impact. Ramsey sp spams excellent. Redzi finds another kill. Redzi now up to 24 kills in this game. Really starting to take over. Along with Ramsey getting 18 kills and 11 assists. And Jetstream with that 10 assists on the sky. A really good job. On the other hand, Cyclone's really been putting in a lot of effort for their team, but ISU just is kind of struggling. Without performances from their stars, Kristen Hasselhosh. Blink Shard pulling out the shotgun. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and it's going to be a teleport from Hasselhosh. Oh, it gets more than they bargained for. And the teleport doesn't quite work. Hashlash is still stuck in this teleporter. Sick with his high sensitivity looking forward, but Kristen's flank is excellent. It's Ramsey and the spike down. Bones should buy some time. Jetstream does pull off, peel off Cyclone from the site. But Speedy finds another. Sick can't deal with Hasselhosh. Charging forward towards Jetstream, but Jetstream finds two. Suddenly it's a 1v1. Seeker reveals the position, but... Oh no, it's Thrash. Thrash broken. Both people, both players know the position. Gecko's slower approach, though. Will allow Jetstream this plant. Thrash is collected. Thrash could burst out Hookah, and... It'd be very difficult for Jetstream to find a way to stop Thrash. Thrash is ready. Very winnable for Speedy, but... Oh no, Jetstream! Not expecting the hookah push. Oh no. That's five rounds now, respectable total, but... It seems quite difficult to hold up against this 12. Alright, here we go. Once more, my friends, into the breach. Jetstream lining up towards A, along with Neptune. Possibly going for some entries. Red Z as well. Towards that short position, but may look towards showers. We'll have to see. On the other hand, we have two players set up on our hands on B long. And a two player set up on showers as well. And it's going to be the Red Z off. Oh. And the Yoru off here in showers. Over the Looking players. Can't we'll charge anything. forward. Raise and go right in. Oh! And gets two. Lines them up. Wow. Neptune lines them up and knocks them down. Cyclone has far back now. And that Op Yoru is now going to enter the Dimensional Drift. What, what do you do with an Op Yoru in Dimensional Drift? That is the question being asked today. Just one left to stop this. 1v4 Cyclone. Playing so good this series. Can't. And the whiff. Oh no. 
That's the game over. It out. Another defeat for ISU in a single day. Crushing defeat. I mean, those were like the two best teams in their group, so not the, not the biggest loss ever. That is true. That is for sure true. We'll see you guys tomorrow as we have an exciting lineup of games tomorrow. Let me announce them. Tomorrow we're going to see a few games. Uh, we have HDC will take down MCD, and that's going to be starting at 3 p.m. EST, 12 p.m. PST. After that, we have on the schedule AGI, MYA. That's going to be an hour after the previous one. Then MCD take on TZ at 2 p.m. EST, and that's 5 p.m. Or sorry, 2 p.m. PST, and that's 5 p.m. EST. And then we have Matzo Ballers versus MCD headlining tomorrow at that coveted 7 EST, 4 PST time slot. So, see you all then.